Kaylin here with Kaylin, who's our carnivore keeper, and she's going to introduce us to this new Guinea, Guinea singing dog. There you go. So right behind me is Nala. She's about a year old. She's a New Guinea singing dog. New Guinea singing dogs are a really ancient species of dog. Uh, once thought to be extinct, they actually just found a group of about 20, um, about I don't know, like 60 years ago maybe, and that was how they figured out that they were still around. Uh, so these guys actually predate the dingo but are often confused with them and because they're so genetically strange, uh, you'll see on their scientific name is Canis Dingo Australi, uh, named after the person who found them. So they do get lumped in with dingoes pretty frequently, but they are smaller and they are older. So one of the biggest um, similarities they have is a very wedge-shaped face and then they have their pointy ears. So they are just really ancient. Their jaws are totally different than dog species that we have now, the dog breeds that we have now. Um, and their personalities are super different. So they are not super interested in people like regular dogs would be. Um, they have very flexible spines and they're also known to climb trees. So they're a very weird dog in general, but then to be so elusive and kind of unique, no one knows anything about them. So there's about between 250 and 300 under human care. And so we're still learning about them all the time. Um, so we're super fortunate and very happy to have Nala. She is very sweet. Um, her parents live next door. They're very so skittish. three of the We have three people. of them, so we're very cool, if you ask me. Uh, but they're really cool species, and I'm so happy that I get to work with them and learn more about them all the time. Great, thank you so much. You're so welcome. I'm so happy to talk to you. And I have excited carnivore encounters with students. Yay! <laughs>